guys welcome back to my channel did you miss me i want to keep today's video short and sweet so let's dive straight into it let's not waste any time we have for makeup so let's do the damn makeup let's do it okay so seeing that last week i did a very neutral type of over the top look like it was like a cut crease neutral buzz it was inspired by my instagram followers Thank you guys for choosing my makeup look <laughs> but today i'm doing my own damn thing how about that so for today i thought i would do something colorful bright purple blue turquoise pink and black smoky eyelashes and just nude lip of course because the focus is always on the eyes <laughs> these days but yeah so if you would like to see what i do then please keep on watching so prior to filming I already primed my face and I used my MAC strobe cream in the color Peach Light because of this look is super like bright and just glam, like a bright type of glam. I want to keep my skin looking healthy, fresh and glowy. So I went in with that primer and for foundation I am going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the color spiced sand i'm only one color so i don't know why the fuck i just struggle to get the color so i'm picking up the foundation on the back of my hand with a flat foundation brush like that and i'm just gonna go in painting my face so now just buffing that in Now just to brighten that up a bit because the spice sand does oxidize on my face so I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC30 just under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the cupid's bow and my chin, of course my 5 head. Oh, she's brightened. Highlighted for the trees. <laughs> to set my base, I'm going to use my Yardley Translucent Buff Powder. I know I always use the same cuck every time, but if y'all can recommend something that's just as good and just as affordable, Please let me know what I can use, but it has to be a finely milled powder, it has to be translucent, it has to soak into my pores and decease my pores, like my pores need to be deceased, you know? Powder is on, now I'm going to prime my eyes using my last bitchy. My last bitchy of my favorite, favorite eye primer. This is the Inglot Eyeshadow Keeper. So, let's go in and in. Okay, my eyes are primed. My bake is brushed off. Now it's time to bronze. And I'm going to go in with, again, my MAC Bronzing Powder in Refined Golden. <sighs> Look at this. Look at this. I need a new one, like ASAP. ASA fucking P. Going in with blush. I'm not even gonna say what blush I'm using because I always use this damn blush. Okay, it's the Inglot one. <laughs> Number 126. You know what? I forgot something. I forgot to contour. So we're gonna help contour now and we're gonna use my Revlon Color Stay Press Powder in Cappuccino. How could I forget the contour, man? What's happening? How can I forget? How can I forgot? How can I forgot my contour? Oh 
Oh my lord, I just had a nose job. Okay, face makeup is done. Time for eyes, my favorite part. To start off, I'm gonna go in with this Inglot shade. This is the purple eyeshadow in number 325. This is gonna go all over in that crease area. Next, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade from Inglot. This is eyeshadow number 382. This I'm gonna apply just in the center of that purple shade. Okay, that's on, so I'm quickly going to go off camera just to carve out my lid. Now I'm going to take this metallic duochrome blue purple pink shift eye pigment in number 113 and I'm going to apply it all over where I cut my lid. Okay, so that's all. Now I'm going to take this eyeshadow, which is also from Inglot. It is eyeshadow number 338, and I am going to apply this on the outer corner of my lid. I feel like some sort of mermaid princess. Now going in with this eyeshadow, which is an even deeper shade from Inglot in number 340. Going in with my next Dreamcatcher palette, I am going to use my black shade, that one, just on the outer portion of that deep blue shade that we just applied. For the lower lash line, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Iconic Fever palette, and I am going in with this shade over there. Now, to seriously make my inner corners pop, I'm going to go in with this bright yellow shade, also from Inglot, in eyeshadow number 370. Okay, you can't see it on camera, but it's there. It's there. You'll see it in the pictures. Time to finish off this eye look with mascara and false lashes and I'm going to use my Revlon Super Length Mascara and my MAC False Lashes in the style 35. Okay guys, I just realized something. I am nearing the end of this video and I didn't put highlighter on it. So before we do lips, let's quickly just put on highlighter and as always I'm going to use my MAC Hyper Real Glow Highlight Palette. Okay, to line the lips, I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner in Sienna. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Honey Love Matte Lipstick. Time for the final step, which is fixing spray. Okay guys, this is it for today's look. I am so happy with the way that it turned out. I'm so upset that you can't see that yellow in a corner vibe going on there, but you will see it on my Instagram, so go ahead and follow her. Also, I quickly want to shout out to King Edna on Instagram for being the inspiration behind this makeup look. I absolutely love her work, so I'm going to link her down below so you can check her out. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you love this look, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will see you on the next one.
I really want to. I. Bleh, bleh, <laughs> My eyes are primed, my bike is... <laughs>